This is so good. Yeah. Excuse me. I'll see ya. Excuse me. Hi, welcome back to Tasting Our Roots. I'm Vanessa. I had such an amazing time trying the different Creole spices and flavors from our previous restaurant. So we headed down to New Orleans and hung out with Chef Eric Benet from Muriel's. We're doing our Louisiana style shrimp and grits with a barbecue butter sauce. We have a local Abita beer that we use, some fresh garlic and rosemary, and then we have a Creole seasoning. We do food that definitely has the uh, Cajun Creole backbone to it. And with the Creole, uh, you have your French, your Spanish, of course your African. This is a melting pot of all these great cultures and all the great flavors and seasonings. So I'm so excited to learn more about this dish. Let's get cooking. Sounds good. Uh, we're going to start with our beer. Definitely like having that malt that's okay. in there. The malt works very well with Worcestershire sauce. I don't really hear a lot of combinations of butter and beer and barbecue as far as like shrimp and grits. So I'm interested to see how the beer adds flavor to the dish. Hot sauce. Um, lemon juice, and we're gonna pour some honey in there also. Uh, we're gonna reduce that down, add some butter to it, and then we're gonna saute our shrimp with a little bit of uh, Creole seasoning. All right, for the grits, we're gonna start out with our liquids. Have uh, water, heavy cream, a little bit of salt and pepper, and we're gonna let this come up to a boil. I think it just uh, plays into our, our southern culture down here, using grits. We have them, we eat them all the time. Are there any other starch alternatives? Rice, uh, mashed potatoes will work. Fun also. I'll put on some bread, eat it like a po' boy. It's come up to a boil, and now we're gonna whisk in our grits. And at this time, you wanna keep on whisking until it comes back up to the boil. Inspiration for this dish is our version of barbecue butter. Unlike your traditional barbecue sauces that have our tomato base, ours is definitely uh, based on the uh, local beer. So now the sauce is nice and bubbly. It's uh, reduced down. Uh, you like to see large bubbles, and then right in the center, some small bubbles. And we're gonna add some heavy cream to that. And that's it for the cream. That was about two tablespoons. Let that reduce down again, see the, the bubbles are starting to come around the outside of the pot. Uh, you can tell that it's getting nice and thick. And actually, if I take my spoon here, you can see that it's thickened up quite a bit. Take your finger, if it leaves a line, just like that, you're pretty much ready to go. What is the difference between the Creole and Cajun? Creole, you're gonna find actually a little bit more of a tomato product. Definitely more of a use of your uh, spices from Africa. Cajun was the uh, Cadians coming down from Canada. And so basically, they were making a lot of one pot dishes, but they were using a lot of stuff that they found in the land. And so that's where your gumbos come from that okay. they could simmer in a pot. Oh, right now we're getting ready to whisk the butter in. So I'm reducing the heat down to a low. And like we said before, just nice and slow. And we're gonna put it one chunk in at a time and just let that incorporate into the sauce. Uh, we wanna keep it low and slow. So basically we're making an emulsion. And emulsions are sauces like a, a mayonnaise, honey mustard, or like a ranch dressing even. Right. Little couple of chunks of butter still there. I like to turn the heat off and just finish whisking it down. And I think we're just about done. One thing we can overlook, of course, is our Gulf shrimp. We have the ability to get shrimp here daily, caught out of the Gulf, and delivered to us about two hours after they are caught. We're gonna take our fresh Gulf shrimp into this nice hot pan, give a sprinkling of some Creole seasoning, chopped garlic, and a little bit of fresh rosemary. And we're gonna move that around. So right now we're just uh, finishing sauteing the shrimp, flipping them over, making sure uh, cooked, of course, on both sides. They uh, start to curl up a little bit, but they're still nice and plump. You don't want to overcook your seafood. So now the shrimp are uh, pretty much cooked. They cook very quickly. We're going to turn off the heat. What about the culture of the food made you stay here? Uh, definitely, it's just the uh, raw de vie. It's yeah. the joy of life. And just permeates your soul and just like the way you season food and everything like that. And they have a great word down here called lanyap. And a lot of times when people come in to eat, we offer them a little lanyap plate, which means a little extra. When I get the seasoning, just put it a little bit a little more. Dash on yeah, there. just a little push. Okay, we're gonna finish the grits off with a little bit of butter. Stir that right in, and some Parmesan cheese. And then after that's all incorporated, we can uh, add some of the grits to, to the bowl. Uh, if you like yours a little bit thinner, definitely just add a little bit more water. Get those in the bowl, and we're gonna start laying them on the grits. <laughs> We have a little bit of grilled lemon with a little rosemary sprig, and then some green onions right over the top. Here your grits. Thank you so much, Chef. Thank you so much for letting us come to Muriel's and learn all about your dish. I'm so excited to try the flavors of the barbecue beer sauce and how it mixes in with all the spices. And I'm going to eat this. It was a pleasure having you. Thank you. So I'm going to try the, the grits with the barbecue butter sauce. But it's super creamy. And you just kind of get the taste of the grits, the pearl texture. And then you have like, this burst of flavor with the sauce. Like This is such a classic dish. If this dish was a TV show, would it be more? It's like good times. Because it's like good times is all about like family. That's what it tastes like. All right, dishes, so you have to come try these grits. OK. Like, please come try them. Here. 
Mmm. No, that's good. This is definitely a more simpler dish to do. Like, you only use a few pans, and even though it's a little more low and slow, it's definitely not overcomplicated. So when people think of New Orleans and they say come to New Orleans for the food, this is the food they're talking about. The hominess, creaminess, the, the good feeling that you get. This is New Orleans, like, flavor. So that's it for us here at Muriel's. Thank you to Chef Eric and the entire Muriel's team for having us, and thank you for watching Tasting Our Roots. Oh,